morning, Andrew. Did you have a nice sleep? I the did. Sun's it was coming a good up. slumber. It is. Well, very early in the morning. While you were snoring away in the uh, crash ship there, I uh, went to the mine and did some work. I, I got up a whole bunch of ice, and uh, you may notice that there is some more cargo containers here. To I slept through all that? In. Yeah, yeah, you're just curled up back here by the uh, the med bay, just sans ease. Your, your snoring was actually a bit louder than my grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you, but <laughs> I can't refute it. But I did go and get a whole bunch of ice, and I also ground down basically every um, functional block in the ice mine. So... Wow, okay. There, there isn't really much more there we can salvage. There's some plates, some places we can get a little bit more steel plate, but that's pretty much it in terms of, you know, just non-steel items. So... Okay. That's a good uh, start. Yeah, so we got everything ready, and the rover is fully fueled, and uh, its cargo containers are empty and ready to rock. So I guess our plan today was to relocate to a more permanent location right yes we were looking at that area beyond the dunes over there as our mm -hmm. possible as our possible place um i uh fly up here and take a peek yeah, yeah down there at the just outside of these this mountainous terrain right uh yep it's gonna be a tough drive to get there but once we're there this should yeah. be a nice home all right well, i guess it's just bottles. time to put a bunch of resources into the rover here and uh, head on down that way. I think we're full already. Full? Oh my gosh, we are. Anyway, I'm filling up my inventory with just a bunch of uh, stuff to build cargo containers. Alright, let's see if I have anything else. I, I should grab a, a weapon and a little bit of ammo. Just in case anything were to happen on our drive. Mm-hmm. There is that rifle magazine shipment that is going by right now. Uh, I don't think we're equipped enough to handle that, are we? Oh, yeah, definitely not yet. I mean, we can just take pot shots <laughs> if you really wanted to. Oh, this okay, thing's let me, heavy. Let me look around for anything else we might need. I mean, we can come back. It's not too far. All right, I'll... Wow, I'm almost faster running. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not trying to accelerate hard right now. You're gonna jump in, or you're gonna run beside? No, I'm. No I'm noticing. I'm, I'm taking a look here. I'm noticing the front wheels are actually kind of coming off the ground a little bit. Yeah, they oh, are. This thing's so back heavy. Yeah. I think we uh, need to add. Uh, honestly, this thing needs to get longer. It might be that your first you inclination. So? Last episode, the to have bus? it that long, was actually correct. Oh my gosh. I think that might uh, be a little bit crazy, but... Okay, well, uh... if we took it back that much further, and then gave it uh, eight wheels instead of six, and then we can put on another set of two medium cargo containers. So it has six in total. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Uh, then again, we might still have the same problem, because... All the weight would be on the back three wheels now instead of the back two. I think we just need more weight in the front. Mm-hmm. Because, or maybe just we the could... front needs to get longer. Okay. I don't know. A, we, we can ex we can experiment. That's a hill. It's a, a little too steep. Uh, I think we can get down this. I think this is going to be fun. Uh, yeah, just don't break, and it'll be fine. Well, I've already I've turned off the the brake on my front wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So we shouldn't okay. flip. The front wheels should just dig in when we brake, which is good. They'll give us steering. All right. Should right, go. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, famous last words. See, see, it's I can not, full brake. It's not even. And I can it's not even down. that steep. Yeah, we're it's good. It's not even that steep. This is. This is nothing. Granted, I can't really see the angle because it's in the shadow, but... Okay, so far, <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing fine. There you go. Okay, I like the safe approach. I will say I'm, I'm a fan of the no brakes. 
approach as well. But the uh, the safe approach is respectable. There we go! Down the hill for the first time. The eagle has landed. All right, so where do we want to... Where, where did we... Oh, it was over here near this ore patch, or do we want to go further to the northeast here? It was over near this ore patch, I thought, but we can, you know, a decision is not set in stone until it's set in it, steel plates. <laughs> until we place the plates down. Yes. Ah, I think I see a nice flat spot ahead of us. Um, and these hills don't look as gnarly to uh, climb. This, this place looks good, doesn't it? Around here? I like it. I like it. This looks like a home to me. Doesn't look too uh, angled. Yeah, we could definitely make it up that right there. Um, we got some ores. Can this we even use ores in enough? this? Uh, no, we don't have any refineries. Like ever? No refineries. No, I don't think we have any refineries ever. Okay, I'm just so gonna drop my bottles here for then. a second so I can get some steel plate. Oh my gosh! What? You have so many bottles. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm 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 a bottle holic. Okay. Do you mind gonna, if I uh, if I uh, take some? Do these? you need some? You can have. Uh, I, can, a, I could use I could use one of each. Think that's a good spot. I uh, what think about so. the grid orientation? Should we align it to the the hillside? Yeah, like sure. This? That would. Yeah, we could we could. Uh, yeah, I, so. I like that. All that's right. Good. There we go. Our first block. Yes. And so it is set in steel plates. And I'm going to put a cargo container on it. <laughs> well, now it's really official. We can't move. New base. All right. Let's offload. I like watching the suspension uh, rise up as we unload stuff. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool thing to, to see. I take out a, like, thousand steel plate and suspension just goes, Oh wait, I'm not being depressed anymore. <laughs> and that's everything. Wow, that was quick. And this okay. thing is full. Ah, cool. So I wait, brought how? stuff for so multiple can... cargo containers, didn't I? Alright, so how min-maxi are we going? Because we could always go, um, half, uh... Half blocks. When building, like, the floor out and stuff? Oh, I'd, I mean, we could. If that's or the case, want, we could, we could drop it down into the, fl in the floor a bit better. Because this is a full I mean, block up. We could go, like, this right here, this is luxurious, right? These are full blocks, that's nice. Mm -hmm. This right here, this is more the, this is the economical option. <laughs> so which would you rather? <laughs> Uh, I mean, we can just go full blocks. I think we'll, we don't need to. All right, full blocks it is. We won't need to weld everything up right away. And also, we can do interior, um, walls. Oh, right, the, the walls. Because those are cheaper for the interior plate. And it's just a different uh, resource as well, instead of the steel. But when we get down here with, uh, a assembler, we can essentially deconstruct everything. And get it down into resources, and then reassemble and change this light armor out to uh, interior plate. Okay. Right? Because that that it takes a little bit less iron to do that, so we could get more yes. building if we have uh, interior wall floors instead of um, light armor. Yes, I like that. I like that strat. It's gonna take some time for me to get used to the interior walls. That's uh, definitely one <laughs> downside of mine. I don't use them very often. But I absolutely agree that down. they are cheaper. And we'll place it with interior wall. I've just added like two on e either side here, so we have some room to walk. Yeah. And then in terms of um, power, are we thinking, uh, I guess wind oh, well, would work here. Well, we only have certain power blocks. Uh, I believe we have solar and that's it. I don't think we can actually make wind. We have hydrogen, so we can run off ice if we wanted to. And I do believe we have uh, the ability to make reactors, so we can run off uranium. Okay. However, I think one of the things we'll need to make pretty soon after we get here is a solar tower 
in the news the oh do we have the custom turret controller can we make a yeah we can make a custom turret controller um Ooh, automatic okay. um solar tower with the automatons update stuff perfect yeah all right you're gonna have to tell me which blocks are um are like not available because i do have some that you said weren't available like the wind oh, turbine like... i do actually have oh yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if it's not available to you, I'm guessing it's not supposed to be used, so... Uh, essentially, this... I'm not sure if the wind tire... I don't think the wind turbine is supposed to be allowed, but the big thing about this is that we just don't have refineries. So that we can't okay. just mine and build, because then it gets... It loses the point of us being scavengers. Right. So, I think... Ah, sure, whatever. We can have wind turbines, I don't care. Because it's not breaking the, the spirit of it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head back and go grab another pile of stuff. You want to come along, or shall I do that myself? I'll come along. Are we going to um, grind down the ship over there, or are we going to let it uh, yes, as eventually. A, a memento? Okay. At least I would think we want to steal its um, resources. Yes, as long as we leave like at least like a little monument or something. Oh yeah, we can uh, in the in the crater it so we can put a little orange pillar of armor and put a plaque on it. Yes. Whoa, got some air. Yeah. A little bear never hurt anybody. Crash site. Uh, okay, we're full. I'm full. And yep, same here. I think we have most of our ice, which uh, I hope that wasn't a mistake bringing all the ice because we still have the um, oh, well, it's not a problem thing in there, the med bay. Yeah, the transferring the med bay will be an interesting one. Just uh, don't die, <laughs> yeah, just uh, drive safely. <laughs> yep. And make we'll have sure to make to sure this base... Uh, we can't transfer it until we have power over here, too. Unless we want to go on an extended period of not dying. Yeah. So we'll have to uh, get our solar tower up before we uh, uh, can transfer that medbay over. Both of us died in episode one. You yes. from contact with a uh, an evil uh, ship. And then from not... <laughs> being able to breathe and then me from a, a single turret yep the interior turret headshot you yeah oh solar cell shipment oh that would be nice I mean, is that going try... or coming it's Wait, coming that... this way too okay question <laughs> um this this is an old mod right pretty old yeah they probably didn't have the weapons that we have now back in the day no it was just like one or two guns Right. So, if we built a two-kilometer range weapon, would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Because if we can, I mean, that might come close. Well, I'm tempted to just take that thing on foot. If Is it driving? Yeah, it's on the ground. Oh. Well, then we should. Set up an ambush? Yeah, just wait for it to get close to us, drive into us, and then... Uh, there'll be uh, like a turret on the top of it. We just need to shoot out the turret and then we can jump on and grind it down and get a bunch of solar cells. Yeah, okay. Day -day I like that idea. Operation transport vectors. I have determined there is an illegal weapons research facility hidden at this location. I'm going to Suhai. Oh my gosh. She's giving illegal us a lot of locations here. Secret weapon research facility. Wow. Okay. That sounds very interesting. That sounds awesome. Well, what we could do is we could get get this base functional, at least get some power here and such, raid okay. that solar cell st shipment as it goes by, and maybe head out to the flight research sec station? Yes, I like that idea. I have been interested in seeing what that flight research station has. And then the store. next time, we could... Oh, are we full again? I think we are. We're full again. Uh, let's drop another cargo container. Okay. Although, this, I guess at this point, we should see if we can just make a large one. Because this will solve all of our uh, cargo needs. 
Yes, it yep. will. We got enough. This building. Awesome. We have a... Is there a windstorm going on right now? Uh, yep. Looks like it's going to be a windstorm. Oh, speaking of which, um, do you still have an oxygen bottle, per chance? Uh, yep. There you go. Thank you very much. I was running a little low. That's why I always carry spares. <laughs> That's good. You wonder why I carry so many again. bottles? It's so that I can just buddy breathe with people if need be. <laughs> Rover's empty again. Okay. So the um, solar cell shipment is 4.5 kilometers away. You know, we really we need like a tower. How tall would it? Oh, it yeah. would have to be okay. Never mind. We maybe don't need a tower. It'd have to be like this big to see over there. Do you want to try to get that right now, yeah, or do you want to let it let's head out get there. closer? Should we go by way of jetpack? Uh, so our ship doesn't get destroyed, or should we? Yeah, because also there? our respawn is gonna be back at the. Uh, um, the crash site so yeah we're not going to respawn here so we'll have to jetpack out to here anyway so i dumped all my tools and everything in here i just taking my gun my ammo and hydrogen bottle oxygen bottle okay is there another hydrogen oh yes there is i'm gonna take my grinder as well oh yeah i guess uh i'm gonna take a basic grinder not my good grinder i've got a two chevron grinder in there i'm oh, gonna take a basic yeah, okay. one I can, do that. I can do the same I don't think we have any more basics. I'll take the. Well, there's a one chevron. one chevron. Yeah, yeah we got a spare one of those. Okay. I think I'm ready to set it out then. Alright, uh, what's the range of these? I see it, I see it. Meters, right? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah. Range, range of these guns is 800 meters, right? Yep. Okay. And range so of their guns is 800 meters, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if the AI kicks in at 800 or 600. For the small let's grid it, stuff. Let's hope it's 600. I think for the small grid turrets, it's 600. We got a little bit of a valley be between between us, so I'm going to dive down in. Okay. Uh, That's I think us. they noticed us. Yep. They called us pirates. It's kind of rude. We are going to be stealing. <laughs> hey, that's fair. All right. Let's charge. All right. Let's see what's there. It's in like a oh, little bit. Oh, there's a right little now. bit of a hills here. Oh, we can get closer. Uh, we can get closer. Using this okay, let's uh, get train. A closer. They, we are within range of them now. So, caution. Mm -hmm. Alright, weapons free? Oh, yeah, it's got weapons free. It's shooting. It's shooting. Oh, I'm going. Oh, it doesn't like me. I managed to hit it once. Ah, it got me! You dead? <laughs> it got me. Oh no! I, a couple shot. I don't think I hit it, but yeah, it took oh, me out. I found your body. I've got ammo on there. I'm gonna see if I can go in commando style. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think you're correct. It is just only 600 meters for their turret okay. range. Because I'm within 500 something and they're shooting at me. I get to 600 and it stops. So I'm going to just pot shot it from here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Not, not getting any hits. Yeah, I wasn't getting any hits either, but uh, my aim is not anything to write home about. Hmm. I'm going to drop my good gun here on the ground with a GPS coordinate. Okay. Just take in my drill. My grinder. 
Oh, you're going in. Yeah. Just, you know, it's a uh, in case I die thing. Yeah. Okay. Going straight in. Grinder or death. Good luck. Yep, dead. Okay, it has no. one Gatling on the top of it. Okay. Pursuit evaded. Resuming standard course and heading. Pursuit evaded, oh man. Okay, so we need uh, probably like some sort of ship to take those on, because... Yeah, we're going to need a turret on our gun, like yeah. on our ship. Well, I ran back for my body, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, I scavenge everything from your body. Oh, thank you. Okay. It's all at my waypoint, um, which I can share. You're out there? I'm out there, yeah. No hydrogen left, though. But there's bottles on the, on the thing. I don't want to call this. It should all be at the pile of stuff. <laughs> I like it. Pile of stuff. Okay, I'm well. I'm a little far. Two two point seven kilometers. But I will be there in a moment. Okay, so we're unequipped for taking those out, unfortunately. Yes. We will have to get an actual tank or something into uh, production. Maybe not this rover, because this will be our cargo rover. And then we will make another little light attack rover. Okay. To be able to zip in with some turrets and blow them up. Could also make a bazooka. This is true. I always forget that thing exists, but... Those things, they added two. Not one. <laughs> they added two bazookas. Yeah, and the one of them is uh, really accurate. The pro. All right, I'm headed back with the vehicle to the uh, crash site to go get more stuff. You found the pile of stuff? Almost there. 800 <laughs> meters. Are you out of hydrogen or something? Yeah, I I had to take it slow because... And this is why I didn't know where my body was. Immediately when I spawned, I, I flew full speed back there and then burned up, I guess? I don't know. I just kind of died <laughs> mid-flight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the um, aerodynamics. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, I guess You I, actually uh, can uh, barbecue yourself if you fly too quickly in the atmosphere. <laughs> yep, I angered the laws of thermodynamics, I guess. Yep. Four hundred meters. Almost there. I'm starting to grind down the, uh, the ship the here. Ship. Okay. Goodbye, orange ship. You served us well. Yeah. You survived you a gnarly crash. Saved our lives during the crash. Yeah. I'm not going to take it all. I'm just going to take the functional blocks and some of the superstructure and leave... Uh, like, there's a battery and stuff on here that'll charge the uh, med bay until we can uh, have power at that base to transfer it over. Okay. Um, I have collected the pile of stuff. It's got two weapons. A, be a pile of ammo too. Welder. I've got the ammo. I've got the bottles. Excellent. And yes, the only thing that's missing is the grinder, which that's understandable. So you can start to do some interior design if you wish. I can try. <laughs> You know, just start laying stuff out. All right. The crash site is pretty much scavenged. Uh, let's see here. And the mid bay is still online there. And it's got like eight weeks of power. So we're good. We'll just have that as a respawn point. I did some interior design work. Oh, yeah. What uh, we got here? So this will be our well, little cargo corner. design work. A little cargo corner. It's got, um, nice. I've left a little bit of room between these, which, I don't know, it's, you know, you love it or hate it. 
No, I like, like it. We like can little... uh, we can put a, like a a cargo uh, like a connector between them. I yeah, actually like that because it will look, look good. If you need to. You yeah. can. Yeah, we just plop a whole bunch of this stuff in here. Uh, where'd my extra bottles go? Use your extra bottles. Uh, ah, okay. I just needed a hydrogen bottle. I'm good now. Might need to uh, refill them because they're running a little low. I've got the other two that I. Yeah, uh, well, that's so. one of the first things we can do here is get a uh, H2O2. Actually, we have them on here, right? We have our own. Yeah, we've got them. On, on the rover, we can fill up there. I'm just getting some power here. Yeah, the rover will keep us alive. You, you can uh, you can put a conveyor tube right between them. I think which I think looks good. Nice. All right. There we go. There we Do we go. have any solar cells? Uh, do we not? No, we don't. Oh. We do have power cells. What if we just I, th I think what we need to do is we need to jump start this base with the rover. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. I think we need to get a, a hydrogen engine and an O2H2 on the base, plug in so that the rover can get the base functioning and then the base can run on ice for the f foreseeable future. Yes. Okay, so we just need a connector then here. Yeah, I don't know if you want to uh, plan out an actual dock or do you just want to make a hacky version for now? For now we can go hacky version and then we can always change it. Okay. And then, yeah, just anywhere here. Or if we're planning yeah. on building this way, we so could what put I it was at the, gonna the do, back of it. What I was going to do interior design-wise, and if there's a different design that you want in mind, mm -hmm. let me know. But this is what I was going to do. I'm just getting it set up here so, it, so I have a visual representation. I was going to do this. So it's more like a walkthrough, but um, okay, we could also do that so that there's an entrance here. I don't know. I, I don't know where the the rest of the base stuff is gonna go. Yeah, we can but just we let options. it uh, expand organically too. Yeah, we got options. And if we don't build on this side where the rover is, uh, like anything significant, we could always expand the storage there too if these turn out to be too little. Oh yeah, like uh, turn into this room into like four large cargo containers. Yeah, we could in the future. Well, why don't we plan for that? Just make the room that large. We don't have to weld anything well, up. We can do that, yeah. But I'm just fine in case, might as well build for the future. Yes. So we'll have the two wide, and then we have the three for the container, and then we'll have the the wall up. There's the containers the wall and perfect and all right we've on got a side. storage room we've got a big yeah. storage room well obviously we'll leave all this unwelded until we get the things built we have enough resources yeah, yeah we're, we're set though for storage and then, then do we I need think, any more we just go up i think just off the edge here i'm just gonna put down a few things and i'm going to get the O2H2. I want to do that here. I think I want to connect this into the storage so we can pull ice from the storage if need be. It'll just be okay. a temporary off the back. Probably right right here. As we need an O2H2 generator. And a hydrogen engine. And probably a s small hydrogen tank. Yeah, like temporary, temporary stuff? Yeah. Well, there's a small hydrogen tank on on the large grid. Hmm? Uh, two by one by one. Okay. So we'll put that there. And then generators.
Oh, I, I need to steal plates. So we'll do O2, H2 in like that. Yeah, could do it like that right there. How do you got it? Yeah, yeah, I was, was going to do. Okay, and then tank. And we can like do that. like a... Sure. And then an and then... engine off the end of it, like that. And that will be our temporary uh, power station. Sweet, I like it. That's until we can get a proper power station set up. Okay, we got the tank built, we got the O2H2 built, and I see you're working on the engine over there. And then we'll plug in the rover here for a second, and it'll jumpstart it, and everything should start functioning. Uh, I can stick a connector right here. Uh, sure. Wherever oh, you want I, I can't actually, but I need the steel plates. Oh, I can plop the connector. Yeah. Also, this will allow us to plug in the rover and transfer resources. Yes, it's a perfect spot. Uh, do we need to be... Let's see if the rover's high enough. Bada bum. And I'll put the connector onto my bar here in the 9 slot. Switch lock. We have connection. And the base is powered. How and the, the engine's engine is on going? over here. Yeah, so that engine's kicked on. So now, technically, we don't need to be connected. The end, the base should stay on. Yep, yep. base should be sustainable. A battery would be nice on base. Um, I don't know. We probably don't have enough uh, power cells, though. Ah, uh, no, we don't. We only have 10 power cells. We could, in theory, make more, right? Uh, yes, in theory, yes. We just need to get assembly. an assembler online. Uh, did you deconstruct the one from the base? Yes. Uh, we can actually shove it in right here temporarily underneath the O2H dude. Okay, yeah. That's a good spot. As, uh, uh, we can use its, uh, pass through assembler. There it is. Proper assembler, not basic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't even build the proper. I can only build the basic. No. There we go. Unknown technology. Okay, I'm going to deconstruct this temporarily once we construct it. Well, if if you can't build the assembler, you you probably just need to build up a basic assembler to unlock it. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, boop. This is unknown tech for me. <laughs> it's not going up for me. Ah, strange. Oh well. Very strange. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, you're 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 our assembler designer. <laughs> All right, there we go. Our our base is uh, functional. Yeah. Uh, more the engine than I is it would be filling up with hydrogen. The O2 H2 gen is working its way. The tank is going to start filling up shortly after the engine fills. How much hydrogen does the tank have? Uh, the tank oh, holds the a mill. I mean? Oh, okay. So it's good. The engine is still filling up, not, not yeah. depleting. I like the that. engine holds 100,000 and the tank holds one mill. One mill. Wow. So Didn't let me I... just turn off the O2H2 generator here. With just the O2H2 uh, off, rate? we have a week of power. And the engine oh, is only 80% full. So we're really not using much power here. So that's good. I mean, what, what are we powering? Uh, uh, basically, that assembler that's nothing not working. at that point. We're powering the O2H generator. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, that was off, though. No, we're powering the... <laughs> we're just powering the base. Yep. All right. Base is powered. Base is functional. All we have to do is just get some ice every so often. Yes. Which is doable. We have a pretty good surplus right now from your uh, from your mining that you did while I was asleep. Mm-hmm. So now that this has got power, we should probably go back and get the um, respawn. 
plug that in. Okay. So that way it's yeah, uh, on this idea. base. I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try something. All right. Doing magic? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh, okay. I'm just, I just grabbed some resources. And we'll <laughs> see right. if it, what I'm planning will work. See if it pans out. We can't grind down the battery at the crash site because we won't get the um, the power cells back from it. This is true. But what if we cut it loose and carry it over here and then attach it? Hmm. Okay. So I that have a crazy idea work. of putting some mag plates on the top of this thing. Cutting away basically everything on the crash site, except the battery, and parking this underneath it, and then cutting the battery loose and land, having it land on top of the rover. I mean, it's a good idea. And then carrying it back here. And yeah, that's a good then idea. At some point, Stealing we can connect it up somehow. <laughs> Either merge block, or we can just steal the power with connectors uh well we should i think i added that in hopefully i added that in there's the advanced uh welding pads the advanced welding pads oh right it's so it's so strange because you don't do mods and so i'm like <laughs> describing mods that i would just be like oh yeah we'll just advance weld it and people would be like oh right yeah and they know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. it's interesting yeah, uh, so advanced welding pads are basically like this contact weldings mod. You put one on a face of a block, and you put one on a face of another block. Then you just bring them close together, and they merge and disappear. Oh. Okay, that sounds helpful. It's extremely useful merging stuff. Alright, so this is all that's left of the, uh, <laughs> the crash site. Uh, it's a little smaller than I remember. Yep. Okay. I'm going to cut it okay. away. The battery? You no, know, the medical room. The medical room. Okay, no more dying. Yeah, you can't die for the next few minutes, and I'm full of resources already. I'll give it a little, give a little bit of this. Yeah, it had a lot of interior plates in it. Okay. So, no dying, at least until we can drive down there. So we can destroy everything up to... Is this block connected to the... Yeah, that's connected to the voxel. So we can destroy everything except for this top line, I think. Yep. And cut all this down. Ooh. Some windows. Oh! Uh. <laughs> no dying, ground remember? You a little bit. <laughs> so the idea yeah, would be to back good. the rover into this space right underneath this. And then put a mag plate on this thing and let it drop. What if we build a floor for our rover so it's not going over these things? You think it's oh, necessary? That sounds like a... might be necessary. What? How big is our rover in terms of large grid? I think it's like three or four wide. Two. Okay, three can handle it with some precision driving. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. Uh, yeah, you're okay. You're doing pretty well. The wheels are getting stuck on a couple of voxels, though. I don't have a drill to, to drill it. Um. But yeah, this one voxel I'm standing over, in particular, should be. Do you want me to drive, or do you want do you want me to, um, have a drill? Oops, I got kicked out by the wheels. <laughs> it happens. There you go. I don't know, you want to extend out that little platform some more? I'm going to hop on the ship real quick. I need a little bit of power. Alright. You want to drive her in? 
Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a go. Go ahead. Back her up. Oh, she's in park. There we go. All right, I've never driven a vehicle of such massiveness. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. Okay. It's looking good. Oh, it's so smooth on here. All right. So we want to get that underneath the battery as much as we can. Okay, how and close is it? a little bit more, a little bit more. Stop. Maybe a tiny bit forward. Right. Tiny bit forward. Okay. Yeah. More even. So, I'm going to get up on the thing here, and I'm going to grind down the block before it, and uh, let's uh, hope this works. Uh, do you want me to bring it a little more forward, or do you think that's? Uh, good? yeah, whatever you want. I think maybe like a smidge, a smidgen forward. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Okay. I think we're ready. Oh, that couldn't have worked any better. Wow. <laughs> we ain't leaving this battery behind. No, we are not. Not leaving anything on the table. All right. Uh... And we'll come back and put a memorial here at some point. Yep. I'll All right. I'm going to sit out of here a little bit. Pull on out and I'll grind up this road. Nice. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we need to very carefully drive to base because we can't die. Yep. I'll let you do the driving there. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I, I think I need to be in the right seat. I think this is a British design. Uh, I was driving in the other seat. I think it's whoever's... In there first takes control. Ah. Oh, we're so top heavy now. Yep, a little bit. Have you thought about what we're gonna do with this thing once we get, actually get it to the base? Uh, for now, just leave it sitting beside the base. And how, then how we'll have to eventually off? weld it up to the base somehow. Yeah. That'll probably become after we get like a atmospheric ship where we can fly and we can pick it up and carry it to where it's supposed to be. That'll be that after we get to the flight research easier. station. Yes. You know, when when they say shipment of like large steel tubes, how many large steel tubes do you think they have? Like it's a probably like a like... medium cargo container full of them or something. Okay. That's what I would guess. Yeah. You know, we could have stuck a large rotor head on the bottom of that thing, and then like a rotor on our ship. And then we like could, it. we could, we could still do that. Maybe a little harder now. A little harder. Yeah, we theoretically so, could have gotten that. Siphon the power from it at least. But hey, uh, at least so we got it here. We got it here. It's in one piece. Um, in order okay. to get off med our bay, ship, med bay, I think med we bay. <laughs> med bay. Good call. It's <laughs> <laughs> just, just like we gotta get the med bay up. Uh, yeah, we're about we're about to go take on the whole place with no med bay. <laughs> I'm tempted to put it right here. Oh, I see why you put it here for the connection. Yeah, because eventually we'll go like conveyor down into it. So we can get hydrogen out of it, eventually. Yeah. Once so we get that second cargo container uh, filled up. Okay, it's welding. It's unknown technology for me, though. Oh, at least it's being welded. Yeah. Hey, we can die again. Yay! Okay. I mean, that's a that's something to celebrate, being able to that die. That is. Yeah. What is life without death? We can get this uh, other large cargo container functioning. Yeah, might as well, because it's connecting the med bay. There we go. Okay, we're good on storage for a bit. And our medical room is giving us O2 and H2 as well. Yes. You love to see it. Okay, we we have a new platform ready to expand out with it too. Yeah, we're we're set right now. We've got a good a good thing mm -hmm. going. So did you want to uh, set up a. Do you want to take this rover to 
the flight research station, or do you want to to make a smaller scout rover? Ooh, maybe a smaller scout rover is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, although, even... well, we're gonna need the cargo, aren't we? True. Like we can always make lot... an. We can always make another trip out there. Oh, but we could take this thing. Um, but we should probably get the uh, battery off the of it. Battery. Yeah. What we'll do uh, here is I'll pull over this way. And we should probably, um, if we're gonna take this, we might as well do a little upgrade to it and ex extend the wheelbase again. Yeah, I agree. Because it it keeps uh, because the weight is like right at the back axle, so it keeps rotating, and like we especially leaning. with that with that thing on it, yeah. Well, we can add a little bit of weight toward the front as well if we... Oh, Lord. <laughs> if we add... Uh, what's heavy? Um, unwelded batteries. Uh, yeah, I think we can just uh, make this a bit better. Huh? I do. Do we have something on our on our rover to make it go up? Uh, what do you mean? Little, little piston. We should, wait, what are you trying to do? I was gonna add like feet, kind of like down like that on each side. Then we could just oh, move okay. the rover by by like driving it out from under it, and then this would just be like freestanding, and we could move it around when we need it. I what I was totally gonna do is I was just gonna unhook it and then wheelie and just have it fall off the pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, we're gonna do work on our rover anyway. Let's add a piston to the back. Um, yeah, Where just get a piston it? on it, put a mag plate on the end of that piston. Okay. All right, and then velocity. A little bit of velocity. Yep. And we'll do. That's <laughs> probably fine, right? Do we have the share inertia tensor? Uh, looks like it doesn't need it. Looks like it's it's surviving without it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now when we lower this thing, this should uh, take the weight of that and let us drive from out from under it. Um, while you do that, I'm going to go to the front here and modify the smiley face on the front of this thing. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah, so you can see that'll flatten us out quite nicely and give us this big uh, cargo capacity. Are you opposed to a windshield? Oh no. Go ahead. Build. Alright, windshield coming right up. We can even start thinking about adding turrets to this thing if we want. Ooh. Although I get a little nervous every time I think about combat with small grid ships. Ooh, yeah, not that we would engage purposefully in combat, it's just that if we needed to, we could f run away as we defended ourselves. Ah, uh, okay. They would engage us, and we would... Yeah. Are we... out of ice already? No. Wow, really? Surely not. It put it all into the tank. Oh, my lord. The hydrogen tank's half full. Half empty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to... Well, with the big thing here, in between episodes, I'll go and get a crap ton of ice. Uh, how much oxygen do you have? I'm sitting on in 59 your bottle. oxygen. Oh, in the bottle, 57%, so half. Okay, so we will need to go get some at some point. I've got one full bottle and one 15% bottle. I want to see if there's ice in any of these deposits. Because if I can find a surface rock with ice on it, that's much easier than going back to the mine. At least I found one ice patch nearby, so we don't have to go all the way back to uh, the big base. Make sure the, the mine. Okay. And it is just a couple kilometers away. Uh, there's ice in the O2, so if you want to turn off the tank, so we're not going to fill up the tank anymore until I get more ice. So the H2O2 generator has ice in it. 
Okay, that's a good idea. So you can at least get more oxygen. Okay. So yeah, quite literally two kilometers uh, west-southwest is the uh, ice patch. Oh, nice. I'm enjoying that. Th yeah, that, that's the style I was thinking. Um, that looks great. I, thank you. Uh, if you see anything that would make it look cooler, then let me know. Well, I'll just go grab um, a bunch of bulletproof and let's get that uh, built up. Okay. Let me get this front sorted here. Now, the sides, I don't know, leave them, do we leave them open or maybe Yeah, we need to get around? in and out. That's true. That's an important part of the I vehicle. think they look this perfect just as it is. Okay. Convoy dispatched. Delivery X5398. Okay. Ooh, I know what could go in perfect there. Uh, where? I uh, just need to get some into your plate, and we can go like this and this, and I can get these built. What, what are those? The small conveyors. Actually, I could just use uh, tubes. Small conveyor tube, small conveyor corner. You know, on some of these blocks, I don't have Ow! any welding sound. Ow! Wait, did I... <laughs> did I weld you? Yes, he welded my <laughs> ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing we got that. Uh, refi uh, not refinery, med bay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I welded your feet a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're entitled to one free welding of me at any time no, no, as compensation. Here, have we got the wheels? Okay, we need to get the uh, suspension built, and then we can cut this thing loose. Yeah. Does it have enough? I hope it has enough clearance. We'll see. Ah, it'll be fine. Let me uh, cut this loose. Okay, let me, let me, okay, I'm going to lower this now. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's the wrong way. I need to turn off the auto lock on this thing. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And then we can probably remove that. Adding a permanent one wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I almost clanged our ship into outer space, didn't I? That's all right. It worked out. <laughs> Right, let me pull it out of this hole. It's in. Okay. Oh, man. Dude, this thing's turning she's, into a, a real beaut. cool bus. Yeah, she's a beaut. And then we can go and slap down an uh, autocannon on the top there. After we uh, plug up this gap with some... Oh, we could even put two. Like, we've got, we've got room back here as well. This is light armor as well, so... Ye be warned. You know, instead of this blocked happy face, which looks really creepy right now, might I add, um, maybe one of those uh, emotion controllers. Oh yeah, you can throw one of those on. Yeah. So the autocannon is a range of 600. But if we put on one of the defensive modules, it should notice things earlier and lock onto them and the guns should shoot earlier. Oh, is that so? That would help a lot. As far as I understand. Okay. Uh, let me just grab a... I'll draw ten computers. I need computers. Can I make computers? Uh, yes I can. Ten computers, please. How come my emotional controller is offline? Give me that emotion. Move the turret real quick. 
I'm going to put the defensive thing right beside it. Basically what the AI defensive does is it will allow the grid to lock on to an enemy well beyond its normal lock on radius. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So that makes it so the turret locks on earlier. Okay. As far as I understand. We're going to defend against uh, enemies. We're going to enemies that have weapons. We're never going to flee because we're not doing that part of it. But it's searching for enemies constantly now. And when it locks onto an enemy, it will allow the turret to shoot at full range. The, which, what, for an auto, what is the auto cannon max range? It's like 1200 or something? Uh. Oh, 800. Nah, that's not bad. I mean, there's like 600 anyway. So it's giving us another 200 meters range just by putting on an AI block. Which is nice. Can we set up a... Um, is there a, an actions for when it targets something? Or only for when it flees with the defensive? I think you can set up stuff for when it locks. Oh, you're going to change the uh, motion controller? Yeah, I was thinking it gets angry. <laughs> yeah, you can put some event blocks on there and make it angry when the notices something. Yeah, God, I, I'm actually cool. really liking this rover. <laughs> it's looking pretty nice. The, the back might need a little bit of work, but like the top part of the back looks a little bit bare, but it's new. Yeah, yeah, but well, it'll, it'll fill out as we uh, work on it. Where did you put the um, defensive? Oh, underneath the, the turret, like literally right okay. here. Okay, I'll just put the event controller somewhere <laughs> on the console. I don't know. You can put it in the dash. Like, yeah, but there's the, the, the there's the two um, armor blocks between our cockpits. You can put them in there. I'll stick it right there. That actually looks like a controller block, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, it looks so like a little ham radio we've got. <laughs> yeah. Does it obstruct the view too much? No, no, it's fine. Sweet. I think this rover's looking great. So shall we head on out towards the flight research station? Uh... Give me one second to make this look a little bit better, and then yes. <laughs> we don't have any autocannon magazines yet. We do have 10 Gatling ammo. So I don't know if we, we just want to slap on a Gatling turret as well, just to... Something can fire, at least. Uh, yeah, that would be a good idea. If the other one's not going to cut it. Well, we just, we just don't have any bullets for it. Yeah. What does it take to make just some magnesium stuff? Yeah, we'll have to break down other bullets and such. But I'm not sure can if we're... We? Uh, not sure if we can yet. Well, I mean, we can break them down in the assembler. But I'm not sure how much we'll get out of it for yield. Yeah. I'll just put this on okay. the back here, pointing backwards. Alright, that should work. Okay, we As got this a, uh, up. Chase turret thing. Yeah, that's good. Two turrets, different ammo types, only one functional right now. But it should help us out. No idea if the event controller is working. <laughs> yep, and the Gatling turret's got some ammo in it. Sweet. Okay, uh, let me put my stuff back, and then, yeah, we could go to the, uh, the flight research. What will we find at the flight research station, and will our new bus even survive the journey? You have to tune in next time to find out on Escape from Mars. Thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.